All right, all right, here we are. We are in video number five of the Speak Like a Leader public speaking training course and series, and we've been diving in. And I know so far you're probably wondering, okay, when are we getting to the public speaking stuff? Like, how do I use my hands? And how do I craft a thesis statement? And you know, all that kind of stuff. How do I use voice inflection? How do I tell a story? How do I make a crowd laugh? How do I use better slides? We're gonna get there, trust me, we're gonna get there. But we've gotta first go through the very practical, very simple, very foundational stuff because it's what we build everything else upon. It's like my Mustang story that I told you about. We gotta make sure the inside is ready to go. We gotta make sure it's strong and we're we're gonna be able to be speaking from a firm foundation. Okay, so we're in episode uh, five, we're in video five, and I just have a question for you. We gotta figure out if you're an at hole, an at hole. All right. Sorry for getting a little vulgar there, but the premise of so much of what we do is speak with people is we say we'd rather speak with people, not at them, with them, not at them. Whether that's one on one, to a team, from a stage, or from a screen, each of those ways we have an opportunity to either communicate, speak, present with people, or at them. Uh, we like to say it this way: when you speak with people. You breathe the life into them. You lift them up. You give them hope. When you speak at people, you suck the life out of them. You take the hope away. You tear them down. And you can do that when you're speaking in front of people. You may not even realize it at times, but your voice, your body language, your tone, your aggression can all come across that way. Your lack of confidence. And so what we want to do in this video is we're going to run through and help you figure out if you're an at home. If you're someone who speaks at people. All right, so the first one, I haven't prioritized my own health. Uh, there's kind of five focus areas we talk about in the course. Do you have a priority for those? Okay, yes or no. Two, I'm consumed with myself, uh, my outward appearance, my likes, all that kind of stuff. Are you consumed with yourself? If, if, that's, if that's a yes, then yeah, probably you speak at people. Three, I allow worry to win. I allow worry to win. Will they like me? Am I good enough? Will they like my story? Am I going to close this sale? Uh, does this outfit look great? Uh, you know, how's my hair? All of that kind of stuff. I mean, you just worry about and you let it just take over. The next one, my research and study is lacking. Like you just didn't put in the time. You, you didn't dive into the problem you're trying to solve for your audience. Because so often when we're speaking in front of people, we're solving a problem. We're giving them solutions to the problem. Uh, the next one, my prep time is weak and thrown together. Do you just throw your stuff together? Do you scratch it down on a piece of paper and then go? Or do you actually carve out time? Next one, I don't value clarity. I don't value clarity. This is huge. Uh, step five of the pathway that we, we talked about a couple of videos ago, we actually say you got to embrace clarity. You got to embrace, you got to make it your best friend. Because if you don't, you're just going to start throwing out all this stuff all over the place. And you're just going to be like, you hope people understand what you're talking about. Uh, the next one, I starve my audience from creativity. I starve my audience from creativity. Do you do, you know, extra slides, images, colors, thoughts, props, toys? I One of my favorite guests ever on the Speak With People podcast. Little shout out. If you've never listened to the podcast, we'll put all the, the show information in the description. But Dr. Christy McMullen, we'll tag her episode. She talked about how you can make your presentations come alive. Like, her book is absolutely phenomenal. And so we'll tag that in there as well. But you just, you, you don't use any creativity. And she would say, how dare you? You got to use creativity. Another, if you speak at people, you drown people in information. You drown them in information. You're just dumping it and you're hoping it's sticking. That's all you're doing. Another one, I tell stories that are clinical and not applicable to real life. What do I mean by that? Well, in 1932, you know, you go into this whole diatribe that's just like, what does this have to do with anything that we're talking about? Now, you can use historical stories, but like use them in a way that captivates attention. Another at, another at uh, question. I don't see laughter as a partner. Maybe don't lean into laughter at all. And a lot of people, you know what their excuse is? Their excuse is I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Well, here's the reality. We all can lean into laughter. It's possible. And so we've got to be able to see it as a partner. Ooh, a couple more. I talk down to people. Some of you don't, some of us don't even realize we talk down to people. We just have this overconfident voice and we're just talking down to people. I'm the hero of all my own stories. I'm the hero of all my own stories, right? Here's the reality. Your audience is the hero. You're the guide. and You got to bring them along. 
You got to bring them along. Now, in the description, we'll put a link to where you can go and take a quiz where you can find out, okay, do I speak with or do I speak at people? Because you don't want to be an at-hole, right? You don't, you don't want to be that, right? I'm doing a little play on words there. But you want to be somebody who speaks life into people. You breathe the life into them. They look forward to when you get up in front of people. And they can't wait for every word that comes out of your mouth. That's what we want to help you do. And so, okay, video five. I hope this was really helpful. Guess what? The next video we're going to talk about, okay, how do you know if you speak with people? You speak with people. All right, make sure you don't you don't miss out. Go to speakwithpeople.com slash speak like a leader. It closes December 22nd. This is the, uh, I'm sorry. I'll just go on a tangent here. This is such a great priced course. Like, you're going to get so much value out of this. I just know it. I just know it. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.